You're being asked to write an essay on an American revolutionary hero or heroine. Uh, you could choose one of the more famous people, but this is an opportunity to look at some of the lesser known heroes and let them stand out and shine for their impact on the war. For writing an essay, you're going to have a couple of requirements. One is you need to research your person and have more than one source. Then you need to set up the information that you learn in a certain order. So when you write an essay, there are three components, an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. The length of the body may vary, but the introduction is always the first paragraph, so it's just one paragraph, and the conclusion is always the last paragraph, just one paragraph. Everything in between can vary. For your essay, you need to have at least two body paragraphs. And what I'm expecting in that is your introduction should have a background. What explains the event or time frame that is being discussed? So for you guys, it's going to be talking about the Revolutionary War um, and kind of what led to the person standing out, like what, what chaos or issues were going on that led up to this person saying, hey, I need to make a difference. So you want to warm your audience up and ease them in to the topic and subject being discussed. Then you want to have your thesis, which is going to be, it's a one sentence argument, a claim that you are making and using the body to defend. It introduces your topic and the idea about it, your focus that everything else is going to explain. So for you and explaining uh, an important person, you would maybe say, so I have done research on Polly Cooper. So I would say, Polly Cooper's influence in the American Revolution turned the tables for George Washington's army. Okay, or, or something along those lines. Um, or that, you know, Polly Cooper allowed George Washington's army to get the training it needed to be able to mount a strong defense against the British. Something along those lines, just like, what's your focus? My hero made an, an amazing impact in the winter of 1777 for George Washington's army. Okay, great. So after you introduce who and what you plan on focusing about them, that they were impactful in the revolution, you then have the body describing how that's true. Now, when you just have a, a subject um, or an overall event, sometimes you break it down into different um, things that stand out as far as the importance and how and why it matters. Uh, so on different essays that I've had students do, it could be the impact of European exposure to Native Americans. You know, how did, how did the European arrival affect Native Americans? Well, it affected them in many ways. So each one of the ways the Native Americans were impacted is going to be their own body paragraph. But for you, most of the people that you might choose, especially if it's a lesser known person, it was probably, probably only influential in one particular way. So it's going to be a little more chronological. And you're not necessarily going to say this person was important in uh, option one, they were important this way as well, and additionally they were important this way. Well, for the person I have researched, Polly Cooper, she was really influential mostly in, in one major way, and that was as providing food, uh, food supply to the starving uh, army, continental army, uh, in, this, in the winter of 1777. So what you're going to do is explain what your person did and why it was noteworthy in history. A lot of people might have fired shots or, or killed enemy soldiers, but they weren't recorded in history. So what made your person particularly, their actions particularly impactful? So uh, for me, like I had done in my research, Polly Cooper traveled hundreds of miles with a band of her Oneida tribesmen, because she was uh, a, an American Indian, bringing 
bushels of food and supplies to the starving, ill-equipped, freezing uh, Continental Army stationed at Valley Forge in the winter of 70, 1777 and spring of 1778. She even stayed on after her tribesmen went back home to help care and feed and supply the soldiers, letting them have the strength that they needed in order to have, you know, be reinvigorated and ready to fight the, the British military force in the summer of 1778. Okay. So we talk about Valley Forge. Well, so why, why did it matter? So Valley Forge was considered kind of like the turning point because the Continental Army during that winter learned how to be an army and was able to then attack the British forces in the summer. And though that initial attack ended in a draw, it then later, they were able to start winning battles. So the, th the thought is, well, what if, would have happened if she hadn't been around. So this would then lead into our conclusion. It's our overall thought, the lasting impact. What do you want your reader to understand? So I would say something along the lines of, who knows, without the influence of Polly Cooper and the Oneida tribes who, who supplied the starving uh, soldiers during this winter, the war might have ended much differently. Washington may have never gotten the opportunity to hone his soldiers into, uh, into a united fighting group and, and eventually win the war. And she even has a shawl from this time that was given as a gift that has been passed down through her descendants and is on display. So this is a woman who went above and beyond helping a larger force for the greater good. And her legacy has been um, immortalized, has been, I can't think of the word, just, just me kept in memory through a, a statue. There's now a statue of her and her uh, a commemorative statue to remember her impact. And then the shawl that still stands. So in this conclusion, you're rephrasing your thesis. Polly Cooper's influence may have, you know, allowed for the turning of the tide or the training of the Continental Forces. Her memory lives on with a commemorative statue and the shawl that was given as a gift for others to be able to see and view and understand the importance of the indigenous Americans impact on the war and their continued involvement of survival of white people in North America. Because, I mean, let's take it back to the pilgrims and all that. So, and if you can even give a call to action. What do you want your reader to know or learn about or do after they have learned about your hero? So, Describe what led to your person even being a subject, a historical topic, and then I, what is your claim about them? What do you want to say? They were monumental in the continuation of the Continental Forces. All right, great. Now, how so? What, what was the event itself? Why did that event matter? You might have to actually even go into some outside research, not just on your person, but the event that they were involved, involved in or a later event that they had an impact on to say why it mattered. So that's what I had to do. I had to look up Valley Forge. And then your overall thoughts about them and then substantiating your claim by rephrasing it, but using different words um, so that it's not the exact same thing. So this is the format each one of these is its own separate paragraph so that means it's tabbed in half of an inch and you don't hit enter again until you're ready to move to the next one then your body should really be two separate paragraphs one saying what the event was that happened uh if there's too much information you can break it down into two different events what led up to it and then the after or during the event itself whatever you need to do 
um, and then a paragraph of why this was impactful, unless you can tie that into the, to the what happened. But separate your ideas enough so that it should be two complete paragraphs with thoughts and a particular chronological focus or area of focus to it, and then your, your wrap up your overall thoughts and tones and number and making sure you leave I out of it because you are not the topic. So I don't get to be in it and writing in complete sentences using Grammarly to help you with your, your writing, your phrases, your punctuation and all that.